this guy pummels back with me, okay? So everyone's ended up in this position here at one point or another, correct? Right? I got underhook, okay? He's got underhook, right? The way I get to control this position is I always like to get that underhook arm, right? So if I'm controlling the underhook position and I go club hook, okay, I'm the first one to get here. As he goes to circle up and pummel with me, I got to catch that elbow. This is what I'm looking for right here. I already know and can feel that he's starting to circle up with me, right? And as he does, this is what I'm looking to catch. I don't want him to get this in here deep, right? And just automatically concede the overhook. I'm looking to catch this here first, okay? So now watch what happens. I'm focusing on keeping one elbow down, okay? One elbow high, okay? So I get one down, one elbow high, right? So as he's pummeling in here with me, I got my right elbow high, my underhook side. I got this elbow pinched, okay? Now what I'm gonna do from here, you guys can all see where his wrist is right now around my waist, right? My left hand that's at the elbow is gonna slide to the wrist. Once it slides to the wrist, I get it down off my hip. Now I'm looking for my drag, okay? So I've caught the elbow, right? I pinch it down and I pinch it in, all right? That's what loosens it up. So I don't just push it down here, he's still got a good bite on my hip right now. I push it in. Right? And the more I push it in, it gets looser and looser on that hip. You feel this pressure right now? Okay? His elbow can only bend so far. Right? So once I get his elbow in, it's prying his hand off my hip. Does that make sense? So I get underhook, I catch elbow. I push it down, I push it in, now I attack the wrist. Okay? Now, once I get this wrist and I get it down, this underhook hand, I go palm right to the elbow, and I'm going to go to what I call my drag double here. Okay? And what I'm going to do, this doesn't even revolve around me hitting a knee. All right, you guys have all done lunges, dumbbells, right? You guys have lifted before, done lunges. I'm gonna do a similar step right now. So I've got the elbow down and in, I attack the wrist, I get the arm down. Right hand comes right above the elbow. Once I drag this arm by, watch my lead leg, step right in between both his, okay? So I start to drag, I pull it across his body, I go split step here, and what I'm looking for is to block this leg. Because a lot of times what'll happen is I go drag, I don't step that deep. All that happens is if I don't step deep, he just circles right out of it, right? My leg becomes that block, okay? So once I get here and I attack the wrist and I go drag, I step here, I've got this thing trapped right now, okay? And notice how my left hand, all right, dropped and is now trapping this leg from stepping backwards, okay? So two things happen. I trap the leg, right? And I wrap around, okay? Elbow deep right here. Now, if he freezes, right, look at where I've got all his weight transferred right now, okay? The exact direction I want to take him down right now, when I drive across, I've got all his weight going this direction anyways, okay? So after I step in, I've got this leg trapped, my finish just becomes pretty easy, okay? So, same setup, club underhook. He's gonna reach, club, I get underhook, he pummels me, I catch elbow, right? I push it down, I push it in, attack the wrist. Once I get the wrist, the rest is easy, okay? Watch this right hand, come right to above the elbow, here. As I pull, don't short the pull. I do a full pull across his body, okay? What'll feel comfortable for you is just to quickly pull the arm and then try and drop down to the leg, okay? Notice how I'm not quite as deep as I would have been. What I'm trying to do, if I just grab his arm, Face this way. Watch. Stance. I take his arm and I do this. Look what that does to his body. If I leave his arm here, because I didn't fully drag it, look how he has his center of gravity right now. Makes my finish a lot harder, right? Is it easier for me to finish here or if he's here? First or second one? Second. Right? So I go club hook. He circles and pummels. I catch elbow. I get it down. I get it in. I catch wrist. Okay, now I go to my drag. I pull it all the way across the body. Here, I step deep. Now I just gotta keep my feet running. Okay, so if I do it full speed, once I step in, right, it's almost like I'm just doing a football tackle. I'm just looking to get straight through them, okay? Here, elbow, wrist, drag, pull. Right, that's what it should look like. It's really powerful split step, Boom, feet just get going through them. Make sense? Anyone need to see that again? All right, let's go, one, two.